Sonic 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 Sonic's been around for a really, really long time. Everyone knows that much. From Rich Compass by Oshima, to a highly detailed, Pixar-like 3D character. From a simple yet endearing hero, only ever shown through sprites in the Japanese manuals, to a jerk with a heart of gold, to what he is now. We think we know everything there is to know about Sonic, don't we? We all believe the Sonic team is way too out of touch and don't even understand the franchise anymore, right? And you would be right. Nah, just kidding. Like the Transformers, there's much more to meet the eye with this blue menace. And I'm about to tell you about it. So, there's been speculation on Sonic having some sort of secret alien origin for some time, and this is just a supposed explanation for as to why he can manipulate the Chaos Emeralds. Many of you must know about the whole only male hedgehogs can go super stick, and for this reason, I'm not very bothered by it. Though, even not being able to do it is kinda sketchy. Now, I'm not trying to flat out say as long as it's sort of hedgehog say and a crypto hog. There are quotes on alien for a reason. I just think he's new to the planet. <coughs> Sonic's world. <coughs> to be honest. But, you're gonna have to bear with me here when I say Sonic Boom plays a part in this. Studio should stop recycling the same tired old properties and make something original for once. <coughs> yeah, that cancelled TV show, that mess of a game, etc., etc. All plays a part. So let me date back into that wound we all know as Rise of Lyric. We all know the game isn't great, and that is for a multitude of reasons. It was rushed, put in the hardware it wasn't made for, second like made them cut a majority of the plot, you get it at this point. But in case you didn't know, the original idea the creators had for Rise of Lyric was an origin story for Sonic. It was first conceived as Sonic Origins after all. Of course, Sega decided to screw them over, and we got the bland story we have now. This just begs the question, why did Sega care about it being an origin for Sonic? It was an alternate universe. It wouldn't have affected their story at all. Or maybe it would have. That's where I come in. Let's connect the whole alien theory and the planet origin story in Boom. Basically, I think they're the same thing, even if they're not. You'll get it soon enough. Now, let's look at some evidence. So, this is some of the ancients, more than later, tech from Sonic Boom. Compared it to the technology we see in Sonic 3 and its generations now. Looks similar, doesn't it? But you know, if you just google generic futuristic tech, you'll get hexagons everywhere, every day. It's not damning, unfortunately. But we're only just getting started. Let's look at the Sky Citadel in Boom as well. You might notice that it looks quite similar to the Sky Sanctuary, not to mention the names. Coincidence? Anyways, the theory is basically that there's an ancient race of hedgehogs, evidence such as... Not much is known about them, but a little mistake friend, Boom, I might just be able to help with that. So in Boom, we're introduced to the ancients. An ancient, <coughs> fuck you, <coughs> race that used the Chaos Crystals to power themselves and achieve prosperity. Remind you of anything? Good, because it should. While most of us can't read these, like, at all, Windy is something retro gives us a good translation of what they mean. It speaks of a long-lost, extraordinary civilization that used power stones to achieve prosperity. They disappeared in an instant, seemingly because of their own greed. Now you, the reader, will say, that's the Echidna tribe took okay. They tried to seize the Chaos Remotes, and then were wiped out by Chaos. Shut. Up. Just kidding. However, I do disagree. 
because of the fact that the Echidnas do not get to use the emeralds, and the fact that they are most definitely not extraordinary or exceptional. Come on! Though, wouldn't you say the Sky Sanctuary looks extraordinary? Those people discovered in the manuals could very well be the hedgehog race theorized. Back to Sonic Boom. The ancients are essentially these hedgehogs reimagined. They're different in that they're not just hedgehogs. Example given, Lyric the Last Ancient, <coughs> fuck you again, <coughs> is a snake. Nor does Sonic unlock a super firm when he collected all the chaos and I mean crystals. Now you all could argue here again. They're the Echidna tribe reimagined, Toke. That's all well and good, but why would Second Demand Destroy be rewritten if this was the case? The ancients were said to have a much larger role before management shot their pants in response. This is the lore Sega doesn't want you to know. They screwed over Rise of Lyric so they could tell Sonic's origin themselves, eventually. This has even been publicly stated. Why else would they cut it if it were not similar to their story? Side note though. It's possible they randomly decided they don't want a situation like with Sad AM or the Bible. Or Underground. Where it's not in line with Sega of Japan's vision for the series. Of course, this would go against the entire point of Boom being more westernized. Now you may be thinking, gee, if they're this girl of letting some other than themselves cause like a backstory, how come the movie got to do it with no problem at all? See, Paramount had a little trick up their sleeves that convinced Sega to let them do otherwise. It's called money. The contract to Sutton most definitely gave Paramount freedom to do... Uh... Meow? Whatever they want in exchange. Sadly, as always a speculation, we might never find the real answer. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Thanks guys for watching and see you next game. Wait a fucking minute, holy shit. Right around when I was gonna start recording, Eniflim dropped a bomb show on his latest Bumblecast. I'm gonna play the clip right now in case you haven't heard, but... Next up, question from Diane W. There is this lingering question that everyone in the Sonic community has, that ye has yet to be answered. Who created the Chaos Emeralds? In the games, it's established that it is believed that the emeralds were created by the gods, but which gods exactly? People say it was Chaos, the god of destruction. Some say it was Solaris, the god of time. And others say it was Dark Gaia and Light Gaia, the gods of destruction and life, respectively. From what I can find online, and that one Sonic Theory video, the most common answer out of the three or four candidates is the latter. This makes sense, given an explanation to Light Gaia's connection to the Chaos Emeralds, as the Gaia temples all have altars for each Chaos Emerald. But what do you think? Who created the emeralds? I'm going to have to back out of this one, too, because, again, I know things. Um, and those things I cannot talk about as of right now. Suffice to say, none of those are right. Could this be it? Izuku is finally activating. Sega is finally going to tell us to lore that I said they don't want you to know. This is what I consider true pain. But now for real. See you guys next time.